I don't think I've got any real low points. The only thing that was super, for me, super, super stressful is when I decided I didn't want to work in Formula One anymore. And it's like one of those things. It's like my, my the, the entire entirety of my professional life has been education very quickly shifted towards focusing on doing this thing, spend 10, 11 years doing that thing. And then you're like, I want out now. I want to do something else. And it's like a really like, it's not like it was bad, but it was a very weird, low and kind of almost helpless feeling. It's like, wow, I'm, I'm leaving that thing that I've like uprooted my entire life to go do. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's always scary, right? Change yeah. is scary by oh. definition. Well, I've, I've just been reminded of my favorite low point. Uh, my favorite low point. I've just read that. Well. My favorite low point <laughs> was that I. No, it's not a low point. But my my low point joining Red Bull was when I joined to be Sebastian Vettel's uh, performance engineer and get to work with Rocky. And then Vettel went to Ferrari. Rocky was going to be chief engineer, and GP joined me from Force India. And, and then I was like, "Fucking hell!" But to be fair, that was great. I actually had. Yeah. Like, I loved working with GP, and if I could go back and work as a performance engineer, I don't want to be a race engineer. I call that the babysitter with a clipboard. But if I could go back and be a performance engineer, I'd love to work with GP again because it was just fucking easy, and it was fun, um, and we got along really well. Um, working with Kvyat was awesome. Like, Danny was a great laugh. Like, like even to the point of, like, hey, it's it's Christmas time. Do you want to come out to Oxford, and we'll all go out for drinks and stuff? And it was me and GP and, and Michael and, and uh, our Renault guy. We just had a laugh. It was great times, man. And it's like everything got a little bit more serious after that. And you didn't really have time to do that. But but like, what about just the realities? I guess we, never mind the lows, but the realities of work. It's like every job sounds super cool, but every job has a slog and a grind. And there's stuff that's not particularly glamorous. That's your job. You know, like we talk, mm -hmm. we, we always hype up the great shit. But I, just, I guess just maybe is in short, I don't know if Dan or, or Jake, you've got anything to add, but like in short, it's like, uh, be mindful that all jobs have the highs and lows and the ability to stay focused through the stuff that feels like the grind is, uh, yeah. And that, that'll separate. And like, like you said, like Jake, your realization, like going back to finance and stuff, you're like, man, fuck a spreadsheet. That's, I'm not about that life. Mm -mm. Any, any, no. Anything to add to that? Um, yeah, I mean, because I, I think a lot of people see kind of end product and they'll see like something that I put on social media, but they don't know that I've also like, you know, 10 minutes prior to that got asked to make like toilet door signs. Or something. Yeah, or a, a corporate wait, deck wait, for something really boring. Yeah, like don't, and don't, like th those things are, I mean, I, like, I would, I interviewed a, a cruise cut, a cruise line like years ago to do graphic design and I was kind of like, you know, what what's the job then? And it was just making their brochure all the time. Like, so I was like, okay, cool. So when you finish the brochure, what do you do? And they're like, make the next brochure. And I was like, nah, like I'm out. <laughs> like I, I need, I, I need the variety because if you don't have sort of, if you don't have like, uh, if, if everything was just amazing, you'd take it for granted. And likewise, if everything was bad, obviously you would leave. But you, if you've mm. got the mix in there, you appreciate it when, you know, the social team turn around and go, we need like a sick edit. Rah. Yeah, it's like that. I'll that's, get on that now. That, that's the icing on yeah. the cake, isn't it? Exactly, Speaking, but you know that's what people think. Stuff. 